Put the finishing touches on this omelet. Just gonna put the bread away as I've got some bread in the toaster. Again, probably wouldn't want to use your malt. People don't like doing that. I should probably stop using my malt so much as well, especially in today's world, I guess. I'm just gonna gently flip this, hopefully, if we can, without breaking it, but not likely, as it's gonna stick. We're gonna have a little bit of trouble here today, I guess, with that instead. And my my element is my element is overheating a bit again. So a little bit of a struggle there, but you get the idea. And again, Lizzie's chomping at the bit for her breakfast. My almost tw twenty year old. She's almost twenty. She gets to do whatever she wants, her and her brother. See? Feed me now. <laughs> over here to check on our toast situation. Not quite ready. Come back over here. We're gonna need to get ourselves a couple of forks and a knife for the butter or margarine. Sure. This margarine container is empty now. This one's empty, so we'll recycle it. I'll, I'll rinse it out and recycle it. Sometimes things just seem to work out. I've been dealing with uh, being short-handed or one-armed for going on almost 24 years now. And for the most part, things just seem to work for me. I find that as I'm getting older though, some stuff's become a little harder. With only 85% roughly use of this arm due to a car accident back in 1999, things are a little strange sometimes. But today it seems to be working great, no tendonitis. And here we go. Some of the toast is ready. I'll bring it back over and I'll show you what I mean by things just seem to stay together. I find that the friction of the toast on the toast helps it to stay in place. I use probably a little more margarine just because it's harder because I can't hold the toast. But there's one. Oh, by the way, there's two of us eating. <laughs> so that's why it's a four egg omelet and that's why there's four pieces of toast. Myself, I love margarine. I don't know, a lot of people don't. I love margarine. I'll even use margarine when I'm making a peanut butter sandwich. So I have a margarine and peanut butter sandwich myself. But there you go, just a simple buttering of the toast, one-handed, one-armed, sorry. One-handed, I guess. If you're one-armed, you're only one-handed, but I've been watching some videos online of some pretty amazing and extraordinary people that deal with one arm and one hand. Some with no arms, which inspires me big time. Shout out to the people on there and the people living with no arms because, wow, I feel fortunate and blessed. The fact that I'm still alive, even though I have one hand, make the best of it. And there we have it. Our toast is ready. Our omelet's ready, even though it seems to have stuck to the pan a little bit because of my element problem. It may not be the prettiest looking omelet today, just because of the fact that it's stuck. Well, when it's breaking apart. But there you go. You get the general idea. You get the general idea anyways, of how simple cooking can be to that extent and I hope you've learned something I hope I can teach people something about how simple it can be to be living with one hand one arm or disabilities in both your hands I'm just trying to be helpful thanks for tuning in to another episode of shorthanded in the kitchen with Randy and Lizzie and Skittles